What is going on guys and welcome to part 2 of the... This series is so unoriginal, I don't even have a name for it. So a couple of weeks ago, I started this new type of series where I take concepts from social media and recreate them myself. And yeah, you guys seem to like it. Thank you all for the insane support on the first part. Now quickly, before this video starts, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Bye. If we hit 1000 followers, I will do a part 3 of this series. And now let's start recreating some more concepts. Now if you haven't seen part 1 yet, make sure to check it out first, as I'm using some techniques I explained in part 1. Now the first concept comes from Astro, and it looks like this. Really awesome concept. Now what I'm going to do to recreate this concept is use the Heim body and change the colors according to the Shogun skin. So here's a quick time lapse of me changing all the different textures of the Heim skin. Alright, so I'm done with every single texture. I will show all the befores and afters of all the individual textures. So right here we have the body, before and after. The mask, the helmet, the hair, and the head. Overall, really happy how it turned out. Now I'm going to import it in-game. Alright, so I've now imported it in-game. Let's see how it looks. Drum roll. Actually, you guys already saw how it looks anyways. Alright, there you guys have it. Now there is a little glitch with the mask. If you zoom in, it gets red. And if you zoom out, it kind of changes back to the blue. So I don't really know what's going on with that. But anyways, this is how the skin concept looks. I think this turned out pretty good and I'm really happy with the result. I can also preview this other styles for maybe optional styles for the skin concept. Also, let me know which skin color of the head you like more. The normal one or the red one. And now also side by side compared to the original concept. Alright, so the second concept is this great looking dark cube kinda Elmiro skin. It was made by the Haunted Legend, all credit goes to him, make sure to definitely check him out. Now as he said, the Elmiro skin already got a molten and a frozen style, so why not also create a dark style for her? So the first thing I did was change the normal texture of it into this. So kinda just changed some parts and made it purple. Now right now you can see the time lapse of me doing that, but you might wonder where the cube effects are. Now the cube effects are animated, so I'm not actually painting them on the texture. I will explain a bit more about this as soon as we come to the next concept. The cube effects was actually additional texture. I had to determine which parts I wanted the cube effects to be on. And then basically on this effects texture, everything that is green has the effect and everything that is black doesn't. Now we'll show you all the individual textures I changed. Now of course I changed the body from the original into this. Then I also created this effects texture. For the face I basically just took the dark bomber face. And then I also changed the head texture. So there you guys have it. This is the dark Elmira style concept in game. I think this turned out really good. Make sure to leave a like if you think Epic Games should add this variant to the game. I'll give you guys a quick spin of the full skin. So next up we have this concept by Brawler. Now this is basically just the male counterpart to the female Astro skin, but he's the one that kinda gave me the inspiration to do this. Now this might be a little complicated to understand if you don't have any experience with Fortnite textures at all. So I will try to explain a bit of the basics behind Fortnite texturing. So every Fortnite skin has a material. A material defines the optical properties of an object. Its color and whether it is dull or shiny. Right here we have the material of the Ginger Gunner skin. This material gets affected by four different textures. Most Fortnite skins have four different textures. Underscore D, diffused, changes color and texture itself. Underscore N, normal, also named normal map, is a type of bump map. This is a special texture that allows you to add surface detail, such as bumps or scratches to a model. Underscore M, metallic, it is a texture that packs different material maps into each of its RGBA channels, standing for red, green, blue and alpha, where each of the colors set the color space and additionally the alpha channel which sets the opacity or transparency value. Underscore S, specular, 
It is a lighting texture which affects the intensity as well as how reflective or shiny the texture is. For most animated skins, there is a certain texture named effects which defines the areas the animation should be applied to. This texture works like a mask, which as I said defines the areas on which the animation should be visible. If we apply only the mask to a model, we can see the areas on which the animation will be visible. Now we run into a few issues when applying this material on skins with a different shape or mesh. These two textures both use different skin models with different shapes. And you might notice that things like the chest or legs are in completely different spots. This is due to the fact that the skin has a different shape. Now when applying the 2D texture of the Astro skin to this male model with the different shape, we can see that it doesn't look right. The mask which defines the spots the animation will be applied to also doesn't match at all. So in order to recreate the Astro skin on a male skin model, I will have to completely change the mask for the animation so it gets applied to the same parts as on the female skin. The Astro skin actually uses the chapter 2 default mesh or shape. This becomes even more clear when comparing these two textures side by side. When overlaying these two you can see that they are the same just with different colors. So in order to create the male counterpart to this skin, I can use the male default body texture. Make it look exactly like the Astro texture looks compared to its default colors. So here's a quick time lapse of me doing that. Alright, so I'm done with everything, let's check it out in-game. So right here you can see how it looks, the male counterpart to the female Astra skin. So the next concept comes from... Um, eBay? <laughs> okay, no, of course, this is just a joke. It comes from Danny. I suppose that's how you pronounce it. And yeah, right here you can see how it looks. Of course, I won't be able to get the chain and the watches in-game. Also, the head is different to the normal fishstick head. So I will have to work with the normal fishstick body and leave out those details. But other than that, I'm going to try and recreate this as good as I can. So right here you can see me change the fishstick texture into the Gucci fishstick. Now finished importing the skin, let's see how it looks. Alright, there you guys have it, this is the Gucci fish stick skin concept. I'll also give you guys a quick spin of the full skin. Now, I really like how this turned out, make sure to tell me in the comments if you think Fortnite should collab with big brands like Gucci. Now, if you want to support me, you can use code Trimix in the Fortnite item shop.